This portion of the news brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it. It's an amenity you may not expect to find at a resort, a fish hospital. At the Atlantis Resort, the underwater animals are not only a part of the attraction. Their family at the Atlantis Resort and staff is doing its part to preserve the marine environment. Janae and Noel Ferguson went behind the scenes of the fishy operation. Have you ever held a shark? Well, here at the Atlantis Resort, there are not only animals on display, but they also take care of them at the fish hospital. We'll take a deeper look. From endangered marine animals to sharks and even mangroves, the Atlantis Fish Hospital caters to the sick and ensures that our greatest resources are protected for years to come. Elgin Hepburn Aquarium Curator speaks to the success the resort has had with its captive breathing program of green sea turtles. We have adult turtles and we've got a little beach. The turtles actually go up on the beach, lay their eggs, and uh, we move the eggs into another beach where it's a little more protected and we can uh, cover the eggs with a little cage so that when the babies are hatched they come up in the little cage and then we actually release most of them into the wild and uh, we've been pretty successful with that uh, we think that we're doing a little something to help the wild population with green turtles which is actually a threatened species and guests have several options to enjoy this unique facility that has also had global success in assisting in the reproduction of sawfish our females gave birth to four live pups successfully and it's the first time that a great, uh, small tooth sawfish has actually reproduced in a captive environment anywhere in the world. So we were really, really excited about that. The underwater features are a part of the mystique that makes up the Atlantis Resort and lures visitors from all over the world. Hepburn says the program has seen so many milestones because of its natural habitat. We also have an open aquarium. It's open to sunlight. It's natural environment, they get the, the different moonlights and all that kind of stuff, you know. And so we think that all of these things combined uh, has helped to uh, allow us to have the reproduction happen. And then we don't, we don't necessarily do anything to change our animals. So the next time you're at Atlantis, be sure to stop in, take a dive, or just hang out under the sea. I'm Janae Noel Ferguson, ZNS Network News. Well, we are not live at the Atlantis tonight, as you can see, but not to worry. We're still going to allow you to watch and win. Here's our bucket and Anastasia Heiler from the Atlantis Resort. One of the food and beverage managers at the resort is going to do the honors tonight. So take it away. Give it a good shake up. And I want to tell you that the uh, prize tonight is a two night stay at the Royal Tower. So that's a good one, uh, especially for lovers. So let's see who it's going to be. All right. Where are you, winner? All right, our winner tonight is Matthew Russell. So congratulations, Matthew Russell. You're the winner of a two-night stay at the Royal Towers at the Atlantis Resort. Of course, we'll be back there tomorrow for the uh, final day of our Valentine's to Remember promotion. Back to you, Andrew. Thanks, Keishla. In just a matter of moments, BTC will officially flip this. Well, 43 Dominican nationals appeared in the magistrate's court today to answer six counts related to illegal fishing in Bahamian waters. They were captured over the weekend near Guana Key. The six counts include engaging in foreign fishing in the exclusive zone of the Bahamas, two counts of possession of prohibited apparatus, possession of fresh Nassau grouper during the closed season, possession of Nassau grouper less than three pounds, and possession of crawfish, which measures less than three and a quarter inches from the base of the horn to the tip of the jacket. The men were brought before Chief Magistrate Joanne Ferguson Pratt, where all 43 men pled guilty to all six charges brought before them. When asked by the judge if they wished to say something prior to being sentenced, all 43 men declined to make a statement. Among the 43 men, four had previous convictions in the Bahamas related to illegal fishing. While the judge passed down the sentence of a $3,000 fine for each men, each of the men, two of them with prior convictions dating back to 2010, were sentenced to three months in Her Majesty's prison. 
In just a matter of moments, BTC will officially flip the switch on its new 4G LTE cellular network, unleashing unprecedented data speeds on its mobile network. Celebrating in grand style, the company is, as we speak, hosting its official launch down at Pompeii Square, where National Security Minister Dr. Bernard Nottage and other senior BTC executives are expected to speak. Now, Kendino Nold is down at Pompeii for us, and he's got the latest on this new technology. Kendino, this new technology is going to significantly change the way people use their smartphones, right? In the world. Well, Andrew, obviously it's an exciting set of technology, and I just want to tell you for a moment, imagine having data on your phone that's the speed of lightning. Well, you won't have to imagine that anymore, obviously, as BTC has brought 4G LTE to market. And I just want to explain a little bit about how the technology works uh, for people that may not be familiar with it. But if you are an existing BTC customer, for instance, and you have one of their 4G plans, which up until this point has been its fastest data service, then you, you'd get uninterrupted some pretty good and fast speeds. Well, with this technology, the speeds are about five times faster, which is, again, pretty fast. Well, I spoke with the wireless product manager, Alphony Duncan, ahead of tonight's launch, and she took me straight through the extensive process that BTC undertook to actually successfully bring this product to market. Started this journey um, last year. Um, starting about last year, July, um, and, and that encompassed installing the LTE sites um, throughout New Providence, Abaco, Eleuthera, um, and so you can imagine that was quite a task, um, bringing on um, our, our mobile team and getting those sites installed, um, training our staff, making sure that you know they have that knowledge and understanding what LTE brings to the customer, and so we're finally at that point and we're ready to launch, um, and we want to encourage our customers, of course, to, to come out and and live the LT experience. Um, you know, it's bringing you faster speeds. Um, you know, for me, I don't even use my computer, my, my home internet anymore. Um, you know, if I need to stream a video, um, if I need to browse or shop, I do it all on my, on my phone. Now, as Alphanik said there, we are very much so dependent on our devices, and so am I. I actually have the Samsung S4 LTE. And it's important to note that with this service, you must have an LTE-ready device like the Samsung S4 LTE. And BTC and has a number of different Samsung devices and other 4G LTE-ready devices. Now, I got to speak with the regional or senior regional manager for Samsung, which is one of the more popular uh, cell phone brands here in the Bahamas. And he talked about how it is just a so important for companies like Samsung to, in fact, support companies like BTC in bringing this kind of product to market. He calls it a win-win situation, especially as BTC now offers the service, and so their products, which are LTE capable, will be sold on a, in, in a market like the Bahamas through BTC. LTE is going to bring to the end user a much, much better experience as when they are navigating. Uh, it's, it's about four times faster than the regular navigation time. So uh, Samsung is a big partner of uh, BTC on this lunch and uh, we're here to come closer to the end user and give, provide a better user experience for it. And any particular devices that you're pushing at this particular point? Uh, right now we're focusing on three devices LTE that we're working together with BTC which are the Galaxy S4, the S4 Mini and the Galaxy Note 3. Now, just a, a quick tidbit on those products that Weverson just talked about. Those products BTC will have on sale at a reduced cost for the next three days. Now, if you're more interested in learning more about the LTE product, BTC will be here in Pompeii Square for, uh, I guess, for another few hours where they'll be able to talk to you about the product and get you to understand more about LTE. In Pompeii Square, live in Pompeii Square, Kindino Knowles, ZNS Network News. Bit on our uh, Valentine's to Remember promotion. Matthew Russell, who we just uh, drew, is actually the winner of Dinner for Two at the Sea Fire restaurant, the Sea Fire Steakhouse. Tomorrow's prize will be uh, Stay for Two at the Royal Towers. And of course, we will be back at the Atlantis tomorrow, right, Andrew? We will. <laughs> and to you watching the Bahamas tonight, stay tuned. There's more news to come. This portion of the news was brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's. I'm loving it. This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Jimenita Swain. 
The Bahamas Telecommunications Company is boasting following a 400% product sales boost. Officials say competitive pricing of BTC's broadband internet and landline telephone home communication packages have had significant increases. Product manager Odette Carey said she feels the main driver for that is the fact that increasingly people are recognizing that BTC provides a better value, more affordable total communication package. Further, she boosts that their prices have put the company at an advantage over its competitors. In other business news, Resorts World Bimini has teamed up with Sky Bahamas and the Ministry of Tourism to encourage Bahamians to discover the beauty of the islands. The Going Back to the Islands Domestic Tourism Sweepstakes is designed to encourage Bahamians to become a tourist in their own country. A special prom promotion is being put on and the winner of the sweepstakes will be drawn from among Bahamians purchasing airline tickets to any of Sky Bahamas' local destinations between now and the spring opening of Resorts World Bimini's new luxury boutique. And in international business news, Comcast announced today that it plans to buy Time Warner Cable in an all-stock deal worth over $45 billion. The Washington Post is reporting that the proposed merger would create an enormous company with extensive control over content and internet services and would have a major effect on the country's telecommunications industry. In announcing the deal, the company said that Comcast will acquire all of Time Warner's approximately 11 million managed subscribers. So if you're a Time Warner customer, you're poised to become a Comcast customer. That was your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Jamanita Swain.